Hello, and welcome to another session on using Blender for video editing. It was just a little while ago that I released my last video talking about uh, the new things in Blender version 3.4.1, and uh, a few days later, uh, Blender 3.5 came out. So we'll talk about that, what's new with version 3.5, and also the thumbnails feature, which uh, did get released as part of version 3, but I missed it until now. We'll also talk about a bug that I found with the current version of Blender and uh, version 3.4.1 as well. Okay, so let's get started. What's new with 3.5? According to the release notes, uh, first big piece of information is that there are new minimum requirements. They are listed here. I will have a link to that in the show notes. As for actual features, on this page we can see uh, some things relating to uh, video FX and as for the sequencer itself uh, these three things with I think the big one being um, a new filtering mode for the transform and from the sound of it it'll just make things render out better but will still perform the same uh, during preview uh, I haven't actually tested it yet but you can see it here if I switch over to blender uh, and then with a strip, a video strip open, uh, you look here under the transform panel and there it is, there's filter. So we have the bilinear is the default and then we had nearest and now we have this subsampling three by three. So let's talk about thumbnails now. Um, thumbnails, as it sounds, the idea is that you will be able to see uh, the image within the video sequence editor. I stumbled on this uh, as I was uh, browsing around on the internet. So this question was asked more than two years ago, how to show thumbnails in the VSC. Uh, and then we had got an answer for that that was implemented in Blender 3 that was posted back in 2021. So it's been here a while. Okay, so how do you enable thumbnails in the VSC? Well, it's up here in the top right corner of the editor. So by default, this button is checked, show overlays. Now you have to click on this arrow to drop it down and then you can see the option to have thumbnails as an overlay. So click on that and then initially nothing happens. And, and that's because there is a minimum um, height required for the strip before Blender will actually show you anything. So if I click and drag on the top part of the scroll bar and make this larger, and then I have to wait for a bit because now Blender is going to go through the video and generate the thumbnails. After a few seconds, it will start filling it up. And there you go. So you can see we've got thumbnails uh, bit by bit. And it's uh, dynamic. So if I use my mouse wheel to zoom out and see uh, more of the entire video, then we can see that it just gives us that little image roughly about where it happens. So if I click over here, there you go. And if I click over here, more or less aligns to uh, the start of the, of the image here is where it shows up inside of the entire video. Okay, and, and that's it. That's the new feature. So while we're talking about overlays, let me expand this again and show you some of the other things here. So essentially, this is controlling what is showing up on the strips. So the first one is name. You uncheck that, then the name disappears. Source, that's the file name. Duration, so you get the idea. The interesting thing here is that it also has waveform display. So that's for your audio files, your audio strips. So if you click on that, by default, it's use strip option so that you have to turn it on for each individual strip that you want to see the waveform. Uh, but if we say waveforms on, then every single audio strip inside of your project will have this thing by default. So uh, as an example, let me add another movie in here. I'll take this one. And there we go. Immediately it adds in or makes uh, visible the waveform for this second movie file that I brought in. Okay, so that's it for new features. Now let's talk about problems. 
As I was editing my last video, I realized there is a pretty big bug when it comes to using scenes inside of scenes. Within these new versions of Blender, um, if your scene contains a scene uh, using a scene strip, then it will render much slower than before. Uh, back with version 3.1.0 and, and prior, it was not a problem at all uh, in preview or in rendering. So that became part of my workflow where I would uh, do all my imports in a scene then, and apply effects and things. And then I would chop it up inside of a, a second scene. Uh, and then I could do further things in a third scene. And I did do that um, because it worked, but now it doesn't. So let me show you uh, in this example, I'll just go ahead and play this. This is a five second clip from the Agent 327 movie. Uh, over here in the properties, you can see I'm rendering out using FFmpeg. And if I go ahead and render it now, it takes about 10 seconds in total, which is gonna is um, the the benchmark here. This is roughly the same in my in prior versions. So I am running 3.5.0 now. Now see what happens here when I go just one level nested. So by that I mean inside of this scene, it only has a scene strip, and that scene strip is pointing to the scene that we were just looking at and rendered before. If I hit the preview here you'll see that the preview speed is impacted. Uh, back with version 3.4.1, I didn't really notice it, but here I can see it, especially as we go even deeper. Now that's preview, let's go ahead and render. You can see here, like, like I mentioned before, uh, like we saw with uh, just the plain scene that had the movie file directly, that only took about 10 seconds. This is taking significantly more. Um, I'm gonna guess that it'll take 30 seconds, 40 seconds, just by looking at this. I'll stop this now because I want to tell you that actually it gets worse the more nesting you have. So um, inside of this project, I actually set it up to go five levels deep, but I don't think I've ever gone that far, probably three at most. So let's go ahead and go to three levels nested. So you can see here in my three levels nested, my scene strip goes to the two level nested, that two goes to the one, and the one was the one we just saw, which go which goes directly to uh, the original scene that has the movie strip. Now let's go ahead and try the preview. And it is definitely impacted. Um, again, this was not in an issue with 3.1.0. And I'll show you that after this, I'll load up version 3.1.0 of Blender, and you'll see this is not a problem. Uh, and let's go ahead and render, or try to render. I'm not gonna let it run to completion. There you go, we're on, it's already been, what, five seconds, and we're only on frame three, and slowly making it way to four. You get the picture. So, definitely an issue. Okay, so here we are in Blender version 3.1.0. Now, I'm just gonna go straight away to this three level nested, and I'll hit the preview, and we'll see, plays fine. 24 frames per second, no slowdown whatsoever. Uh, and if I go to render, renders pretty quick. So this is probably gonna be about the 10 seconds that we saw with the new 3.5. Uh, and that's that's it. We've talked about the new things with version three, so thumbnails, uh, new things with specific to the latest Blender 3.5, and the uh, unfortunate bug that we have here, which hopefully will get resolved uh, until it gets fixed. A possible alternate process would be to use meta strips instead of using scenes. Uh, another thing you could consider is going back to 3.1.0. But one issue you may have is that if you have saved your project file in the later versions of Blender, you might not be able to open it inside of 3.1.0. Let me show you. I'll open up an example file that I had created before. And you'll see it, it just looks really strange. Uh, this is, I think, me. if you remember from the new version of Blender, this is where they have like the named channels. So that might be what I'm seeing there. Uh, it still looks like the preview works, but just because of that, because I'm seeing that, I don't even want to try.
So do take note of that. Uh, anyway, that's it for today's video. Hope you did enjoy that. If you did, please do give this a like and consider subscribing so you can see more content when it comes. Thanks and bye now.